Good afternoon guys, it's day 8 and day 9, basically yesterday I just had a lazy day, um, still trying to get over my cold, um, I'm still not feeling 100% at the moment, I haven't done much housework today, I've just done a little bit, trying to catch up on things, um, but I do have something to say and I still want to clear my name with this pub business because I'm getting sick of people barring me for no apparent reason and it's just getting beyond the joke now and basically it's discrimination and what I've been told apparently there's been rumours going around town saying that I go into men's toilets touch the men up and um, I don't think so. I would never stick that law. I would never stick that law. All my life, all my years, when Dougie was alive, when John was alive, I've never ever once got in men's toilets. Never ever. But I do believe somebody is going around the pubs and it's causing trouble for me. That's what I think. And saying stories about me. But there's going to be taking action this week. Because I am going to talk to a few people this week. Um, I'm going to go to the solicitors and I'm going to try and find find some truth about things. Because uh, by the end of the day, it's slander and it's discrimination what people have done to me. Um, like I said to people on Facebook, I don't go out to cause trouble in pubs. I just like to go in the pub talk to my friends and have a dance and have a sing song and that's basically it I meet people and that's what I want to do but I don't know now guys I don't feel safe anymore in town I really really don't and I'm definitely thinking about moving for good because I am moving out of town for good because I've had enough because this, it's getting too bad where I can't go out and have just have a good time and just basically have a good time, really. And it's just like, it's racking my brain. Who would do something like this? Who would be so cruel and spread rumours about me? You know what I mean, guys? Who, who? But they never tell you, right? And by the end of the day, you need proof to do something like that you need proof to show what you've done in a pub and you need that kind of proof <coughs> and someone said to me I don't like to mention the names but someone said to me right because of the groove you don't think it's because of a certain person who works there from the boot and I said, well, I don't think so. And if that's the case, that's wrong. Because they shouldn't ban me because of that. Because it's discrimination by the end of the day. Which it is. And I've been reading a lot on the internet about discrimination. And I've been re reading um, why people get discriminated and stuff in pubs and... It's because sometimes it's a lot because, like, they get insulted because of the way they are and stuff like that. And that's basically what's happening with me. And I just feel that my life isn't here anymore. And I'm, I'm moving. Simple as. And people are trying to stop me and say, oh, <coughs> don't go... Dalo won't be the same, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. You've got your friends. I haven't got any friends. By the end of the day, if friends would come and see me, they would. They would meet me in town, they would. And if I move out of town, they can always come and see me. And this is why I don't trust people, because if I start trusting people, people will turn against me and use it against me. This is what I mean, guys. This is what I mean. This is why I had to delete my other video channel because people were using that to get to me. 
and it's all wrong. It is totally, totally all wrong. It's classed as bullying, it's classed as slander, or you name it. I don't know how many words I can say about it. But I am still pretty upset about it and I still want to clear my name over it because I am not that type of person. And it's really upset me for what people think I am that type of person because I'm not. And I would never dis disrespect a pub. Never. Ever disrespect a pub. And talking to customers is the way of trying to make friends and if people, like... If, if I was that much to people, why didn't people just say, oh, do you mind, we're busy, and I would just, like, leave them alone? To me, I just feel now, I just want to, when I do go out, I just want to sit in the corner and just do bug all. And I might have to do that, and it's going to be tough for me, but I might have to do that. Do you know what I mean? And it's really, really, I shouldn't be doing that at my age. I shouldn't be sat in a corner at my age for 48 per old person sitting in the corner. It's like childish. It's like being a child again. And I shouldn't have to do that. And <clears throat> and it's it's sad, really. It is sad, guys. But um, update. The rabbit has a loo. So I'm going to put that in for her tomorrow. Because um, I'm going to clean the pets out when I'm feeling a little bit better because I'm going to make my laptop's doing something restart now I have to restart now <coughs> restart my laptop it's doing something yeah um, yeah because I'm as soon as I get a little bit better I'll be feeling better to do my housework and that but it's this this room is what's been going around. It has knocked me back for a six, guys. Knocked me back. And I just feel awful inside thinking that people think of that of me. And it's... I don't... I haven't got really anything to say. So that's basically all. So I'll catch you guys later. Be cool, be happy, stay tuned. Hells, bells, rock chick, flogs, bye.